Hi digital marketers, this is Fasal Amin. Welcome back to my channel. Today I will show you how to tracking iframe in Google Analytics 4 with the help of Google Tag Manager. So for the iframe, it's a little complicated, but I will try to show you how you can make it easily. Then you can see that I am landing on Google Tag Manager and you can see that I am connected the google tag with my website so i presume that you already know how to connect your website with the google analytics 4 if you do not yet you can check it out my video description box i will giving the link here so let's get started today i will check this iphone so how can you understand that that is the actual iframe so for that you are go to the inspect and cursor sign select the total form and you can also click the ctrl f and write simply iframe here you can see that iframe embedded form in the element sections so now we understand that that is the iframe so how can we track this form so first thing first so i'm just create a trigger for all element because i want to track each and every click on my website so for that firstly i am creating the all element trigger that is the also all element save it and go to the preview option and continue go to my iphone and if you clicking anything then we go back to our google tag assistant here we do not find out any click option in google tag assistant why because i am embedded this iform from the paper.com so for that we do not track any kind of event or click from our main website so that we have to create a new container for the iframe form tracking and also we are trying to connect the our iframe container with our main website container so how can we do that firstly we have to create the iframe container and connect with our paper form so go back to google tag manager and go to the admin section and create the container so that is for the iframe container and that is for the also web so create and we are just copy the google tag manager code and back to our pperform.co that is the iframe from provider so you go to the analytics and paste the code in paste load script as well as we are also paste the successful submission script after the submissions go to my iframe container and go to the trigger i now i am creating the all element trigger and check out that our iframe container is working or not so go for new trigger configuration all element just save the trigger after creating the all element trigger we have to configure the built-in variables and then here we have to activate it all of click variables now go to preview option and paste the url connect and we can see that our iframe container tag assistant looking here and also the website container tag assistant are looking also here so i am just clicking on the iframe from and here you can see that i find out the click and if i go to the variable sections we are find out some variables from the click so again we are go to the form and fill up the form because firstly we have to creating the trigger so we are just fill up the form first and here is the test and submit so we are find out the message that looking the message sent so we have to create a trigger by using this text or you can say that classes we are just select the message sent and go to the inspect and find out the class from it and we are just copy the class from it copy the class back to our iframe container go to the trigger and click the new trigger trigger configuration and find out the element visibility so we are copy the class from the iframe submission so select the css selector and the element selector will be the our class when to fire this trigger once per page maximum percent visible will be the two percent and tick mark the observe don't changes and here we have to giving the name that is from submission and save it 
so i'm created the form submission trigger now time to create the tag so for that go to new tag configuration that will be the custom html here i am pasting the code so now question is why i am using this code by using this code i am connecting the website container with our iframe container that is our iframe container and here i will provide it the domain name which domain name that is my domain and i want to connect with that so i am copy the domain name from it and back to ifm container and just paste the domain url here so now time to triggering i am already creating the trigger so click the triggering trigger will be our form submissions tag name will be the custom html iframe data sending by using this tag i am sending the data to my of container so save it so i am sending the data to iframe container to my main website container so now i am go to my website container and here also we have to creating the tag to receiving the data which are sending the iframe container so again go to new tag configuration custom html and paste the code here and triggering will be the all pages so i am just giving the tag name that is custom html receive data from iframe so save it so now we are go to the preview options and check out that our data are receiving in our website container and find out our event name in our main website data layer so go to preview from the browser container and connect and also the iframe container so i'm just completing the form and submit so now we are back to tech assistant and here we can see that our event is looking here iframes from submit so by using this event name we have to send the data to google analytics for so we are go to our google tag manager in our main browser container and go to trigger first we have to set up the trigger for iframe events new trigger configuration custom event and we have to paste the iframe from submit from the google tag assistant and name will be the event iframe from submit save it now we go to the tag section new tag tag configuration google analytics and google analytics ga4 event and for the measurement id we are go to google analytics 4 and go to the admin section data stream and here is the measurement id you are copy the measurement id and back to our google tag manager tag paste the measurement id event name will be the iframe from submit so you are copy it and paste the event name and we are do not send any event parameter for this event just go to triggering and then event iframe from submit just giving the tag name that is iframe from submit for ga4 and save it so now go to preview options and check out that our iframe from submit event are showing in our google analytics 4 or not so go to preview continue and fill up the form again and that is the test and finally click the submit so back to google tag assistant here you can see that iframe from submit tag is fired perfectly and now back to google analytics 4 go to the admin and then debug view so you can see that our iframes of submit are looking here if you click it so you can find out parameters and iform from submit as event you can see that the right side after 24 hours in the events you can find out this event so finally we are set up iform tagging for google analytics 4 by the help of google tag manager so thanks for watching this video i will see you in the next video with a new topic thank you